so welcome to my channel so we'll do exercise 2.4 optional so it is not for the examination point of view as already it's mentioned in the asterisk okay? so number one question verify the number given alongside of the cubic polynomial below their zeros also verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient each case okay so we will do quickly so number one is small number one so what is given here px is 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2 and what are given here zeros are given 1 by 2 1 comma 2 okay so we need to only verify the coefficient and the zeros here what is a a is 2 what is b b is 1 what is c c is minus 5 c here and what is d d is 2 and what is alpha alpha is half what is beta beta is 1 what is gamma gamma is minus 2 so we need to verify number 1 sum of zeros sum of zeros means alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to equals to c by sorry minus b by a minus b by a so left hand side alpha plus beta plus gamma what is alpha alpha is half plus one plus minus two so we by simplifying half plus one minus two will be half minus one it will be taking lcm so two 2 divided to 1 minus it will be 2 so it will be minus half okay so right hand side I'll do here right hand side what was our right hand side right hand side minus b by a what is minus what is b b is 1 what is a a is 2 so minus 1 by 2 since LHS equals to RHS since LHS equals to RHS hence verified okay alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma equals to c by a so lhs alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma what was our alpha alpha was our 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 into minus 2 plus half into minus 2 so 1 by 2 minus 2 plus 2 1 2 2 1 2 sorry minus 1 so 1 by 2 minus 3 will be lcm 2 1 minus 2 3 6 minus 5 by 2 so rhs it was our left hand side rhs equals to c by a what is our c minus 5 by 2 since lhs equals to rhs hence verified okay so number one is done number two number two product of zeros is alpha into beta into gamma equals to minus d by a lhs alpha into beta into gamma equals to what is our alpha alpha is our half into 1 into minus 2 2 1 2 2 1 2 is minus 1 so what is our right hand side rhs equals to minus d by a what is our my uh, d d is our 2 by what is our a a is 2 2 1 2 2 1 2 equals to minus 1 since lhs equals to rhs hence verified so number two question will do so alpha is one and so number one verification sum of zeros what is sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to minus b by a so left hand side alpha plus beta plus gamma what is your alpha 2 plus 1 plus 1 it will be 2 3 4 so right hand side 
equals to minus b by a. What is b? b is minus 4. What is a? a is 1. Means minus and minus plus 4. Okay. Since LHS equals to RHS, hence verified. Sum of zeros in sum we will do next also. Okay. Alpha, beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma equals to C by A. Let me confirm C by A. Yes. LHS left hand side alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma. What is our alpha? 2 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1. So 2 plus 1 plus 2, 2 to 4, 5. So RHS are right hand side equals to c by a what is our c c is 5 by 1 equals to 5 since lhs equals to rhs hence verified okay so number 2 product of of zeros what is a, what is the product of zeros okay alpha into beta into gamma equals to minus d by a lhs alpha into beta into gamma what is our alpha 2 into 1 into 1 equals to 2 so what is our right hand side right hand side is our minus d by a what is minus d minus 2 by so double minus by 1 so 2 since lhs equals to rhs hence verified the question is so we move on to question number two. Exercise 2.4. Find a cubic polynomial whose sum sum of product of its zero taken at a time, taken two at a time, and product of zeros are this this is okay. So number two question. Here what the question is given to be given or here. First is sum of zeros means alpha plus beta plus gamma is given 2 and second alpha beta take, taken 2 at a time the question is saying taking taking at a 2 at a time okay beta gamma plus alpha gamma will be what is given minus 7 minus 7 and the product of zeros okay alpha beta and gamma is minus 14. Okay, minus 14 respectively we need to find the cubic polynomial so therefore required required cubic polynomial is okay what will be the required x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into x minus alpha beta and gamma okay. this will be the our required quadratic polynomial so put this substituting the value i can write or x cube minus what was the our alpha plus beta plus gamma is 2x square plus sorry plus means it will be minus because minus 7x minus into minus plus 14 this is our required polynomial 2 is also done Question number 3, moving to question number 3. If the zeros of the polynomial are this and this, this, find A and B. Okay. Number 3 question, given polynomial. Okay. Px is given x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1. So, the zeros means alpha is a minus b and beta is a and gamma is a plus b so these are given in the question it is given so here what is a a is 1 see here the coefficient of x cube what is b b is minus 3 what is c c is 1 and d is also 1 how to find the value of a and b okay how to find the value of a and b so here the coefficient is given and the zeros is given so i can take the relationship okay the alpha the 
product of zeros and some sum of zeros. Right? I can take the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of the polynomial. In from that I can solve the value of a and b. Okay? I can find the value of a and b. And these are the different, and these are the different. Okay, uh, it will be quite like similar, but this a is different from this a. Okay, we have to differentiate in while doing. So number one sum of zeros. Okay, we know from sum of zeros what will be the alpha plus beta plus gamma will be minus b by a. So what is our alpha? Alpha is a minus b plus what is beta? Beta is a. What is gamma? Gamma is a plus b. So equals to minus what is b? B is minus 3. What is a? A is 1. So a minus b, I will open the bracket plus a plus into plus plus a plus into plus plus b equals to minus into plus minus into minus plus 3 means it will be 3 divided by 1 nothing will change. So it will cancel out. So what will be the a plus a plus a 3a equals to 3. This implies that what is our a? a is 3 divided by 3 because this will divide this 313 313 3. a is what is the value of a? a is 1. So done. I got the value of a another i know another relation alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma so i can find what is our alpha beta c by a okay our relation is c by a so what is our alpha alpha is a minus b what is beta beta is a plus what is beta beta is a a plus b then a minus b sorry plus a plus b i am substituting the value what is our c c is what is our c a b c c is 1 c by a a is 1 means it will be 1 and when i multiply a into a a is square minus plus into minus minus a into b a b plus a into a a is square a into b a b plus a I can write a minus b a plus b okay a square minus b square equals to 1 so this will cancel because plus into minus it will subtract a means a square a square a square means 3a square minus b square equals to 1 what was the value of b I found recently a was our 1 okay what was our a a was our 1 a was our 1 okay so 3 3 b square equals to 1 i'll take this b that side and i'll take this this side okay. equals to 3 minus 1 is 2 means b means under root 2 or plus minus under root 2 okay this is our value so we got the value of a and b we will go to next question number 4 and 5 if two zeros are of polynomial is given here and and find other zeros okay you are given px question number 4 given px is x to the power 4 minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35 this is our polynomial and what is given x equals to 2 plus minus root 3 means the zeros are two zeros are given here is plus here is minus it is separating two zeros okay so it means x equals to 2 plus i'll take plus value this is our first zeros zero and x equals to 2 minus on the root 3 this is our second zeros okay it is by quadratic equation it will have four zeros two zeros are given so i need to find other two zeros i'll use the you division algorithm okay for polynomial that it, it is the application of that theorem okay 
so x I can write minus 2 plus root 3 I'll write bracket I'll take this all side this side minus 2 minus root 3 okay or I'll arrange rearrange x minus 2 minus into plus minus minus into plus minus root 3 I'll take this side because I need to arrange x minus 2 because I cannot write here a minus b a plus b because here is the sign is different so I will manage in such a way it will follow the formula so I can write this term as a, a and this b a and b so I can use that formula a minus b a plus b will be a square minus b square this formula I can use here or a square means x minus 2 whole square minus b square means root 3 whole square 2 2 will cancel or I can simplify this a and b okay I can write the formula a minus b whole square formula I can open through this formula a square minus 2 a b plus b whole square square so a square means x square minus 2 a means x b means 2 plus b means 2 square minus 3 or x square 2 into 2 4 x plus 4 minus 3 or x square minus 4 x plus 1 this is or the is a factor of px px means by factor theorem it is said that this polynomial is the factor of this means this will divide this completely okay So now, now we to divide this number okay with this number so while dividing so what will be the here is a plus sign so I need to introduce plus sign x square how many times x square into x square will be x to the power 4 so I have multiplied with this number and I need to multiply with this number also minus into plus minus 4 into x square 4 x cube so plus into plus plus x x square 1 x square okay so your opposite sign plus minus minus so this will cancel out minus into plus it will be minus 6 minus 4 will be 2x cube and minus into minus it will be your addition but sign will be the negative okay so and I'll write down it as it is so I need to introduce negative sign so plus into minus minus x square how many times x square 2x times will be the 2x cube minus into minus it will be plus plus 4 to 8x square okay it will be your negative and plus into minus minus 1 into 2x 2x so opposite sign here so this will cancel out minus into minus it will be addition 8 plus 27 will be 35 x square okay and plus into plus plus 40 x minus 35 so I need to introduce here plus sign plus into plus plus oh, oh yeah, sorry sorry it will be negative sign okay I need to introduce negative sign plus into minus minus how many 30 times okay 35 times 35 x square plus it will cancel out minus into minus plus 140 x it will be negative it will also cancels out plus into minus minus 35 it will plus it will also cancel out remainder is 0 so now using division algorithm using division algorithm using division algorithm so according to division algorithm px will be equals to gx qx plus rx so px is here so gx is x square minus 4x plus 1 and what is qx qx is x square minus 2x minus 35 so I need I I found already two zeros from this 
quadratic equation. So I need to find another two zeros from that quadratic equation. So further simplifying, we'll get the other two zeros also. So I need to simplify x square minus two x minus thirty six. Sorry, thirty five. I'll do it by middle term. X square as it is, copy this also copy. That x minus thirty five. I need to introduce sign here. My plus into minus minus. So one into thirty five. Thirty five. I need to five seven thirty five. I need to factorize in such a way that if I subtract, I'll get two, and if I multiply, I get thirty five. So seven minus five. What about seven minus five? It will be two. Then seven into five also thirty five. It is verified. X square minus into plus minus into x seven x. Minus in minus plus five into x five x minus thirty five. I need to take common from this side, or x here the common will be x only x minus seven plus. I can take out five only because here is no x, so I cannot take out x five x. So only x five into x x plus into minus minus five seven thirty five or x minus seven. I'll take this out two terms, so x plus five either. X minus seven equals to zero, or x plus five equals to zero. I'll get the value of x one zeros. When the when this number will go that side, it will be seven positive, or it will be negative. So other two zeros are seven and minus five respectively. Okay. So last question number five. So we'll quickly do number five. Last question of this optional. So what the question is saying? Question number five. So here given p x is x to the power four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus twenty five x plus ten. Okay, is divided by a po another polynomial. Is divided by another polynomial g x x square minus two x plus k. Okay, this polynomial is divided by this polynomial. And what the thing remainder? What the remainder is comes out? R x is x plus a. We need to find the value of a and k. Okay. So what is the value of a and k? See, I'll take an example. Then I'll try to explain with this. Okay. I'll try to relate the one thing. What twenty five is divided by two. Okay. I'll divide it random. Two one two five two two four. Remainder is one. So what? The remainder is one, so two is not going exactly twenty five. Okay, so in order to go, I'll what I do? I'll this is our p x. Okay, I'll subtract remainder from p x. Okay, what will be? It will be twenty four. Then two will go twenty four exactly. See here, four two two four means remainder is zero. Remainder is zero. So what? This number will not divide this number exactly because remainder is here. So if I subtract remainder from this number, then this number will go exactly means the remainder will be zero. I'll use this concept here. That's only the problem. So p x minus this r x or minus x plus a. Okay. If p x minus is divided is divided by g x, then remainder will be zero. Okay, the remainder will be zero because I have used that concept. So what will be the p x minus x plus a? What will be our p? What is our p x? P x is this x to the power four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus twenty five x plus ten minus x min plus a. So I'll simplify x to the power four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus twenty five x plus ten minus x plus into minus minus plus into minus minus a. So x to the power four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus into minus it will be plus but the sign will be subtraction x plus ten minus a. 
So we will quickly divide this number by this. Okay. So in order to get remainder zero, the, we will not get the exactly the zero, but we will get some, some certain fraction. Okay. In terms of k and a. Okay. So, so from that we will equate with zero, then we will get the value. So I will do it quickly. X square. How many times x square? It will be x to the power four. So plus and negative. This will cancel out. Okay. And minus into plus minus two x into x square two x cube, and it will be opposite sign plus. So, n plus into plus plus k into x square k x square. Okay, so then putting opposite sign negative and positive. So minus into plus it will be negative. Six minus two will be four x square, but the sign will be the bigger sign. Okay, negative. So and sixteen minus k sixteen minus k bracket whole square. Okay, I need to subtract this number because I cannot subtract directly because it is k. So the value is unknown. So I write like this, and I'll rewrite all those minus twenty six x plus ten minus a. So I need to subtract plus into minus minus. Okay. So when I subtract this number by this means sixteen minus k x square plus minus eight x square. Okay. I'll take out common x square. If I take x square common, then what will be the remaining here? 16 minus k minus 8 will be x square. I'll take common because in order to subtract this, so 16 minus this like term, it will be 8 minus k x whole square. Okay, in this way I am subtra subtracting these two number. So when I take subtract, it will be this, and when I subtract these two number, here is k. Remember that here is k, so it will not directly subtract. So I'll write negative sign here minus two twenty six plus x. Okay, I can write this outside x. So the same number ten minus a. So in order to match this positive sign, I need to introduce plus into plus plus x square. How many times eight minus k x square? It will be this time. Okay, this number times it will be eight minus k square. So minus into plus it will be negative. 2 2x into 8 minus kx 2 8 minus kx okay this will be with sign negative and plus into plus plus k into 8k k 8 square okay k k into 8 minus k so it will cancel out and when i subtract i'll subtract in this way in this manner 26 plus 4k It will be plus two eight minus k outside will be x. So plus ten minus a. It will be minus of k eight minus k. Okay. So. Okay, this our remainder. Okay, now it cannot divide further because here is x square, so here is x. So this will be small. And what I mean to say is, this value should be zero because it was the factor of that. Okay, minus twenty six plus four k plus two into eight sixteen minus two k. Also, it will be x plus. 10 minus a minus k into 8, 8 k minus n minus plus k square must be equals to zero. So 26 will be it will be 10 minus 10 plus 2 k x plus 10 minus a minus 8 k plus k square equals to zero. In order to be zero, then this must be zero or this must be zero. Either minus ten plus two k equals to zero, or ten minus a minus eight k plus k square equals to zero. So two k equals to ten. K equals to ten by five. Two will be five. Okay, K is five. Or ten minus a minus eight into five plus five into zero. I'll I got the value of K. Then I need to find the value of a. Or 
टेन माइनस ए फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्व टू जीरो माइनस ए माइनस फोर्टी टेन प्लस विल बी थर्टी फाइव इक्व टू जीरो और माइनस ए इट विल बी माइनस फोर फाइव जीरो और माइनस ए इक्व टू फाइव और और ए इक्व टू माइनस फाइव ए इक्व टू माइनस फाइव सो यार तो टू वैल्यूस ऑफ के एन ए ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वील सी इन नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज लिनियर पेयर इन इक्वेसन टू वेरेबल्स ओके लिनियर पेयर